Okay, so um, New York focusing in the 60s. Obviously, you weren't there. Uh, do you <laughs> wish you had been? Is this the closest you'll ever get? Um, yeah, I think it's cool. I, I like that they were kind of doing their own thing. Um, and uh, it was a kind of small community of people who all knew each other really well and um, and were kind of competitive but not, but um, and trying to do something. There was sort of a feeling of everyone trying to do something together. I think it was a pretty cool time. And the film is um, it's a sort of circular, wistful movie. You don't really see these sort of stories on the big screen mm. anymore. It feels almost like a TV movie, in, in, in a good way. Uh, are, the Co- yeah. are the Coen brothers the only sort of people who could do this now, who, who have that clout to, to make this sort of film? That's the thing, I guess. I mean, they're one of few, yeah. I think that they don't have to conform is um, because they've kind of developed their own genre um, is pretty amazing. Um, most, a lot of films now have to follow a certain formula t- because of all the constraints put on by studios and other people, um, whereas they just tell their story and do what they want to do, and it's repeatedly successful. And, and the look of it is um, it's a character in its own movie. It's, it looks very analogue. I mean, mm. it's shot on film. It's that kind of sepia look. It's, I think there's one blue sky in the whole mm. in, in the whole movie. I mean, it, it's, it looks beautiful as well, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, it's beautifully shot. And it, what's so brilliant about them is that when you're shooting, you don't feel the effort of how they frame things or how things are... It doesn't feel like they've created a brilliant kind of... You're not thinking about the art of the set or the design and the costumes, and then when you watch it, it's so perfect and so detailed. Um, but there's something sort of effortless about the way they do that. And it's a performance movie. It's almost like a concert movie in the fact that the singing... Usually you see snippets of songs, don't you, in films yeah. these days? But it's, you see whole songs I mean yeah. did it feel like you were at a concert when you were sitting there watching Oscar sing for instance yeah I loved that the, the first day I was filming we filmed the trio me and Stark and Justin singing 500 miles and on the same day they shot Oscar singing um, Dink's song fairly well and um, that was amazing I love his voice so much and I loved watching the film for the first time just seeing all of the different songs that he sings I love how they let them play out and it really gives you time to sort of take the film in you mentioned their singing with Justin Timberlake um, great actress would you put your singing on the same sort of level <laughs> no um, <laughs> uh, no it felt uh, very intimidating when we first all kind of came together as a cast to rehearse and it was the first time I'd stood in a studio, really, and put on earphones and sung, and um, and I could see T Bone Burnett and and Joel and Ethan in the kind of room, and I sang my harmony, and they all kind of looked down to the floor, and then um, T Bone came in and really delicately told me to sing quieter because apparently I was like bl- I was giving it like musical theatre, and they were like that's not what this is, um, so it was yeah nerve wracking, but Justin was just so easy and warm and lovely and so by the time we were filming it was really great and in your promotion you've done a concert in the states haven't you and you had to sing yeah with with marcus um a taste of his world do you, do you want any more of it or was that was that enough for you i was pretty that was about enough um that was really scary actually that was up there with one of the scariest things i've ever done um i mean just to sing with you know i had to sing this trio with gillian welch and um just to sing with her on stage and not completely mess it up was a was an enormous challenge, but a great, I mean, a, such a privilege. And, and to be in the wings and watch Patti Smith and Joan Byers and all these legends singing was amazing. Uh, and just finally, it seems to start earlier every year. There's Oscar buzz now attached to this film. Do you take much notice of that? Um, no, I mean, I, I think it's great. I think, and I think it's, uh, it's deserved. I think you can't help but feel that when you watch the film and, and watch Oscar's performance and and it's such a great story. Um, and I think the great thing about all of that um, awards stuff is is people sort of hear that and they take notice and then they go and see the film and more people see the film. So I think that's, that's the main point of it and, and what would be so great is if lots of people saw it because of all this chat. But it'd be great for an Oscar for Oscar. Basically, I think an March. Oscar for Oscar is fully deserved, and I and I really I do I think he's so brilliant, and I and when we watched it in Cannes on a huge screen and, and the audience's reaction, and we went and did a press conference the day after, and the whole press conference gave him a standing ovation, and that never happened. I mean that's insane, uh, and he's just brilliant. I think he really does deserve it.